Hey guys, I'm Tutu. Today I will go to Corey's awesome studio and uh, take guitar lessons. And uh, I'm here already. Do you like Transformation? Mm -hmm. Okay, today is good weather. Okay, let's see what Corey do right now. Okay. <laughs> I think someone recording here. Oh, Carl, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just kind of standing around here with all my camera stuff set up and a couple of guitars. Is it all you do here? Yeah. Right, just by yourself? No way. Yeah. Oh my God, you are so clever, um, and uh, you can take it. <laughs> forever. <laughs> you can set up forever. <laughs> like every time I come here, and you set up. You know, Cory is so fat and he is so slow for everything. Every time I come here, maybe I should wait at least one hour. Yeah. I'm about to play a song for you. Which song? Oh, Here we go. Okay, let's start. Okay, thanks for joining us. To do this kind of surprised me today, which is pleasant. We're gonna do this challenge. It's an incredible musical challenge called Teaching Tutu. No. Teaching Tutu. Okay, maybe let's start off by putting this strap around your head. Yep. Is it too short? No, that's too long. Okay, let's put it on. There we go. There you go. I wish I had a strap. <clears throat> you have a pick? No. <clears throat> ah. Oh wait, that was the one in my mouth. Here, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? I think everyone already in your mouth. Well, you're right, that one was too. Okay, <laughs> start off by holding a pick. <sighs> Put your hand like you're holding a coffee cup. You know, okay? See? And you have these joints in your fingers, three joints. You're gonna put the pick on the last joint of your finger. Here, see, this is your last joint. And we're going to take it out on a 90 degree angle up. But you're going to curl this in like a C, okay? Okay, wait. And we lay your finger and pick there. But now put your thumb over, not too far. And not too, not too, not far. There you go, perfect. Have a hole here. A hole. And now let these fingers here wiggle. Okay, so you should be able to do this. Again, the third joint, pick 90 degree angle out of your third joint. And then curl in your fingers like a C, put your thumb not too far, not too shallow, but just right. So now we're gonna play over top of our sound hole, just storm everything down. Don't hold your hand like this, hold it up against your body. Okay, good. Okay, let's just go like this. Down, down, down. Like this up. Take 
take your two fingers on our left hand, make them one finger. And these are our string. We're gonna number them like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth string is also, play your sixth string. <clears throat> your lowest string, your lowest pitch. Okay, and it's called the low E string. Can you say it? Low is the string. Low E string. Low E string. E? E? Good, low E string. Low E string. Perfect. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> take your left hand. Are you my English teacher? Am I your what? English teacher. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways. <laughs> um, together, around, and put your fingers on the fifth string and the fourth string. Yes. Second fret. You want to keep this together as one, because you want to do this right now, just take it on and off a little bit. Don't do this. A little bit together, joined. Good. Keep them, keep them tight, keep them together. Very good. Now you want to play close to the edge of the frets. Here's your frets. Second fret, you want to play kind of close to the edge. Don't play here. Harder to get a good sound. Play here. Make sure you do that. Okay, very good. A little bit closer to the edge. Yeah, there you go. And strum down. Very good again. Okay, good. Now we're going to do this. Down, 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 up, down. in our video. Anyways, it looks like this, how you're playing it. It's called E minor, okay? E minor, yeah. E minor. Now we're moving it, taking off, moving down. This is not an A minor, but we're gonna play this anyways. Okay, two, three, go. first fret when you go down to the lower one the lower chord here we go yeah
call it two two. Here we go. <laughs> Stay on this E minor for a moment. challenging rhythm go back to the E minor okay we're gonna go like this down down up Do that and stop. Two, three, go. exactly where they are so don't move them you got that good take this off move this finger onto the fifth string third fret there you go moving our ring finger from here up to here our fifth string third fret and this is our C major chord keep your fingers curled this can touch this string and it's nice to touch the string because it kind of mutes the string because this string technically isn't supposed to be in the C major chord move your fingers close to the edge of the fret and do that should have each note sound like this. Again. Starting here. To the edge of the fret, yeah. Good. 
good. Yes, great. Okay, so play this C major chord. Now you want to use the top of this finger to touch this string. Not like that, just like this. The top of, see I'm pressing this with this finger, but I'm muting this string by kind of just touching this a little bit with the fat of my finger. So it should be kind of easy for you. Two, three, go. If you don't do that, let the string, it's gonna sound like this. It is not terrible, because from some inversions, this note could be in it, but it sounds cleaner if you mute this with this. Okay? One, two, ready. We're gonna play that one twice with that rhythm, then we're gonna to go to the A minor, play that twice with the rhythm, we're gonna to go to the C major and play that twice with that rhythm. Okay, here we go. E minor, two, two, three, go. So it's actually E minor, A minor, C, E minor. And again, E minor, A minor, C, E minor. One, two, three. Again, okay? Remember to keep your fingers close to the edge of the fret. Okay. One, two, two ready, three, go. go. Some new chords, okay? Take okay. your hand for a minute, you can stretch. <clears throat> this chord is called a G. What you do is take your middle finger, okay? <laughs> Excuse <laughs> you? On the sixth string. Only you have middle finger, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay. On the sixth string, third fret, okay? Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> take your first finger, Yeah. you know? And put it on the fifth string, second fret. Good. Taking my ring finger, put it all the way down here on my second string, third fret. No, up one string. And then you're gonna put your pinky right below it on the third string of the, sorry, the third fret of the first string. So, like this, this, this. And some people might have learned different kind of G chords. They're all G chords. I'm not gonna get into that right now. But for now, do this because I'm saying do this, okay? <laughs> I don't want to learn so difficult G chords. It's not difficult. It's the way, these two can be joined as one finger. So these are kind of connect them and keep these tight, yep. Keep everything, curl that over and keep everything there and there we go, curl this finger and. Uh. Perfect. Okay, <laughs> one, same chord, one, same rhythm. One, two, ready, go. But a little too fast. One, two, two three, three, go. go. We want both these fingers so we can have some leverage. We can, this is a nice squeeze, okay? And you take these off and on like this. Take them off together. Keep these fingers together. Keep these two together as one. This is your this is your strength, your leverage down here. Do you have uh, additional G chord? Can teach me? 
sure. Here. <laughs> happy? <laughs> Not happy. Okay. Um. Sorry. I meant that. Wait a second. Anyways. <clears throat> One, and we're gonna go like this. Down, down, up, up, down, off, down, down, up. One, two, ready, go. Okay, just try to keep them closer to the, to the edge of the fret. One more time. One, two, ready, go. Yes, but there's reasons why we don't want to use that right now. Okay. And the main reason we don't want to use that right now is for the third chord, what we're doing, which we haven't got to yet. We want to keep this here as a pivot note. And we're going to eventually move down to a D chord. So this is going to remain the same. All these are going to move and York can land on a D. We're going to go back to the G, back to the D, or back to this one. The second chord, so you know, this is a G chord. We'll move this down. This is called a C add nine, because it's a C major chord. We're adding the D, which is the ninth degree of the C scale. It's called a C add nine, okay? So our G, our C add nine, and this D, it remains the same for our D major chord. We're gonna do now. So the D major chord is take your middle finger and put it on the second fret of the first string, okay? Yeah. And take your ring, your first finger. Yeah. Okay. Put it there and take your ring finger. Yes. So the first finger goes on the second fret of the third string, and now we take our ring finger yeah. and put it on th third fret of the second string. Yeah. Good. This what? That's called the D. A D. Okay. D major? Yes. You got it. You got to kind of avoid hitting this string because this string clashes. So if you can, just kind of hit the bottom four. And it might be hard. Some people like to curl their thumb. I don't recommend that. I'm recommending to use. Play the D. One with the right rhythm. We're playing one, two, three, go. Okay, great. Okay, we're gonna play this chord 
chords in this order. We're gonna play two of the G. Unison. We're gonna play one of the C add nine. And then we're gonna, what we're gonna do, go to the C add nine and we're gonna leave this finger where it is. All these fingers come off on the last stop. And then this lands in place. See, you guys should keep your third finger here at all times. This is your, your, your pivot, your, your note that just holds all chords together. So, yes, you could do that, but then you don't have the strength and, it's, and that other G is a, for a different lesson. So, so, what should I do? Like this? Yep. Okay, now we're to move from here to the G, put the pinky finger here. Leave this where it is, he's come off, and that goes up there. Now go back to the D, leave this where it is. And up, 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 up. And up, yeah. Oh. Good, and back to the, so you gotta kinda get used to this change. It's not an easy change, but it's a very common and very important change. The D and the G are very often played in the same song and very often played back to back. So get used to this kind of change. Key off. Yeah. Okay. So now we're gonna play it in this order. G twice. One, two, three, go. Only one time with the C add nine. Okay. 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 And then one time to the D. Okay. okay. So go a bit slower. One, two, three, go. Sorry. One, two, three. Go. Oh. <laughs> Don't hold your breath when you're doing these things. Here we go again. Okay, back to the G. Here we go. And come close to the edge of the fret. There we go. Perfect. One, two, three. Go. Okay. Let's go back to the C add nine. Just go to the C add nine. Okay. How oh, I did. Okay. Now what I want you to do is do this. Just for now, go like this. Take your pinky off and on. finger on but take all of them off
two more times. and I want a D. faster it goes like this. Okay, that's what we're trying to get. You got it? How's the C? It's like that, but this is how we're <laughs> learning it. Okay. Thank you. 